Hey, mathematicians, this is Mrs. Shopper. We're going to be starting our unit on exponents. I can't wait to get started. The whole goal for this whole unit is about simplifying our answers. And so if we keep that as the back of our mind and looking at is this as simplified as it can get and then making sure we're doing that accurately, this is going to go really well. So what we're going to talk about today is the just kind of the basics of it. And by basics, I don't I'm not trying to imply that this is super easy. It's just the, the basic level of understanding. And so we're going to hit three different things. One part is going to be product of powers. That product meaning multiplying and then powers are numbers with an exponent. So when I look at this first one as an example, I have 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th times 2. And if I write this out the long way, what it means is 2 times 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 2. All right. This is 2 to the 3rd. This is 2 to the 5th. And then this is 2. And how do I simplify that all together? I figure out how many 2s I have and I write it as a power. And it's 2 to the 9th. It means that I'm using 2 as a factor 9 times. All right. Let's look at the next one. This one you'll notice I have X's and Y's, so I have to make sure I differentiate between the two. So those are my X's, and then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the other, the Y's, a different color, all right? So I'm gonna combine the greens, the X's, and combine the Y's, the yellows. So here I've got one, two, three, four. Then I've got two, one, two, and then I have one. So all together, I have x to the seventh because I'm using seven x as a factor seven times. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my y's. I have seven, three, and five. So seven, three, and then five. Okay, so seven, three, and five. So all together, I have 15. And so I have x to the 7th, y to the 15th. Typically, when you write your answers out, you write them out in alphabetical order. And then you also um, make sure that you have the correct number. So that's my correct answer. So let's go through a couple examples with these. All right. So I've got negative 12, r to the 7th, r to the 4th. So the negative 12 kind of is its standalone. And then the r's are what I'm going to combine. All right, so I have negative 12, and then I have seven R's, and then four more R's. Now I can write them all out, or I can say, hey, I've got seven in this pile, four in this pile, so together I've got 11. I took seven plus four, and that's how I got 11. Because you're only working on putting, again, it's simplifying, right? Putting all the X's together, the R's, the C's, the numbers, whatever. It's getting everything together. So I've got my six and my five, which are like terms. And you might be wondering, well, how is six and five? Like they're two different numbers. Because they're both numbers, that's why they're like terms. And then I'm going to go with my C's. And then I'm going to go with my D's. All right. So 6 and 5 multiplied together gives me 30. Here I have 1C and then 5 more. So that's 6 of them. And then with my Ds, I have 5 and 2 more, which is 7. 30C to the 6th, D to the 7th. All right. Take a look at the next one. Um, the parentheses are just a fancy way to write multiplication. I could totally write it this way, and it would mean the same thing. All right. So the 5 and the 4 are like terms. The x squared and x cubed. So 5 times 4 is 20. x squared times x to the 3rd is x to the 5th. 20 x to the fifth. All right, let's do one more. Again, the uh, parentheses are just a fancy way to separate them by multiplication. So I'm going to use my highlighter 
I'm putting all my like terms in the same color. All right, so then three times negative two is negative six. X times X squared, that's X to the third. Y squared, Y to the third is Y to the fifth. And there you go, negative six, X to the third, Y to the fifth. All right, so that's the first part. The next part is a power of a power. And that's when you take an exponent to another exponent. That's what we're working on here. So this exponent of four tells me I take two to the third four times. So two to the third times two to the third times two to the third times two to the third. There's three, six, nine, 12. So I have a total of two to the 12th. And I'll leave it just like that. Again, this outer exponent tells you how many times you're taking the inner part. So this means x to the fifth, seven times. Seven. All right. So if each of these represents five x's, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, it means I have a total of 35 x's. All right. All right, so we'll simplify these. This two tells me I take what's on the inside twice. So I have two to the third to the third twice. All right. And then what this means is I have two to the third three times. we go. So then I want to figure out how many twos I have. So I've got one, two, three. Nope. It's not one, two, three. It's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So two to the 18th. Two to the 18th. We're here. We've got three. So four squared squared to the third. So four squared is, is going to take that three times. Excuse me. All right. So I have four squared twice for each of these. And again, I'm looking at what my exponents are telling me. The three is telling me I need to have three of them here. And then this two right here is telling me that I need two, two, and two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. It's gonna be four to the 12th, All right? And then we have power of a product, okay? This is much what we were working on here except for power of a product means I'm multiplying multiple different things within that grouping symbol. So I have five X squared Y to the fifth times five X squared times Y to the fifth times five X squared times Y to the fifth. Again, I'm gonna get out my highlighter. I'm gonna highlight all of the like terms. There we go. Five times five times five. Now, I can either write this as 125 or I can write it as five squared. That really becomes your choice on what you want to do. Um, and then x2, 4, 6, and y's, 5, 10, 15. So really, either, whoops, either one of these are going to work fine. So five to the third, x to the sixth, y to the 15th or you could write it as 125. I'm not gonna get too worked up either way, okay? Uh, let's try this one. Um, two C to the fifth, D to the second. We're gonna do that four times. Okay, 
So then what we have two, four, six, eight. Nope, I lied. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. And then I've got my C's, which is C to the 20th, and I have my D's. Okay, which is D to the eighth. And there's my answer. All right. So a couple examples I want to go through, and then we'll get you on to the next part. So this means 3x to the 4th times 3x to the 4th. 3 times 3 is 9x to the 8th. You could also write it as 3 squared. That would also work. Here we have 5 squared x to the 3rd y times 5 squared x to the 3rd y times 5 squared x to the 3rd y. So 5 times 5, or 5 squared, 5 squared and 5 squared would be 5 to the 6th because we have 6 5s. Um, x to the 3rd, x to the 3rd, x to the 3rd would be x to the 9th. And then y, y, and y would be y to the third. There we go. Oh, one more, one more. Here we go. 6a to the third, b to the fifth, times 6a to the third, b to the fifth, times 6a to the third, b to the fifth. Let me move this a little bit this direction. We'll add one more. 6a to the third, b to the fifth. So if I highlight, my sixes, and then I'll highlight my A's, and then I'll highlight my B's. So I have six to the fourth, A to the three, six, nine, 12, B to the five, 10, 15, and 20. There we go. All right, have fun. We'll get you on the next part. Bye.